Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and this is a quick video to show, or mainly talk about, the difference between a simple networked monobehavior and a networked monobehavior. So a simple networked monobehavior is the base class of networked monobehavior, and its sole purpose is for remote procedure calls. So if you're wanting to throw a script on to an object and just call remote procedure calls for your entire game or just for that object, uh, then the simple networked monobehavior is what you want to put on it or what you want to derive your class from. So uh, you really are only going to use the simple monobehavior. As you can see, it doesn't have any fields here for you to fill out. It's really just a class that is created for you to derive from in order to do remote procedure calls. And if you don't know what remote procedure calls are, just head on over and check out the remote procedure call video and uh, you'll get caught up there. Now, the uh, networked mono behavior is a key player in a lot of uh, what's uh, part of the networking. It is more of an out of the box solution. So you can derive from this class as well if you want. So the networked mono behavior is an object that is created so that it can be uh, moved around and updated in real time at a certain speed. So the networked mono behavior has a network throttle which is set here to by default to 0 0.05 which means that it's going to update 20 times uh, per second and of course I can lower that or raise it depending on how important this object is and it is per object so I can have a few of these objects and change out the throttle will be different on each then we have UDP reliable if this is like the most important object in the world uh, even then you probably won't be using UDP reliable but UDP reliable means that it's going to ensure that all the information that was sent is received uh, you're usually almost always gonna leave this off for this object you really only want UDP reliable for uh, specific calls uh, like small calls for connections or whatever that have to get to the other side um, this is just here because I wanted to give everybody the option the enable interpolation enabling interpolation means that if we move the object around on the network uh, when it gets to the other side obviously it's not instantly transferred to the other side so it won't move as smooth it'll actually jump around a little bit it'll it'll have a little jankiness to its movement depending on the latency of the network so in order to smooth that out and make your game look pretty uh, you would use network interpolation and network interpolation just smooths out the movement from point A to point B and as you move faster it'll move faster in order to keep up uh, we have the lerp speed which is how fast it's going to interpolate the stop distance this is to say whenever it reaches this distance it'll just snap to the destination so that uh, it's not constantly updating the small fractions uh, and then angle stop so if it's based on the rotation whenever it gets to this uh, in this case one degree uh, of 360 degrees then it will snap to the desired rotation and then I uh, we offer the easy controls which is to serialize position rotation and scale and later on there's probably going to be some more checkboxes in here for other default uh, basic types of unity or components but these are just quick starters so if you check position rotation then the position and rotation will automatically be serialized across the network uh, we use this in a lot of our other videos you may have seen us use it and so if it moves or rotates it will automatically be updated so in recap the simple networked mono behavior is created for you to derive from to make pure RPC classes classes that are just made to call remote procedure calls uh, like our tic-tac-toe tic example uh, networked mono behavior is created for you to be able to update an object constantly over and over and over and over again as fast as possible or as fast as you allow it to th via the throttle so that's the difference between the two and uh, those are the two main hierarchies that we have uh, built into the system so if you have any questions please let me know and uh, I guess I'll talk to you later